back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment below. So I've got a new budget binder, well, planner. And I'm putting down each account for the whole year of 2022. Um, how much I'm paying. And then these two columns is for any fees that will be added. And then I'll be filling this out over here. So I did this for all accounts. They're going to be from January of 2022 to June 2023. 18 months. And so I do have a new one. But that's just going to be from January to December of 2021. So I don't, I'm not expecting any extra charges here. But for each account, I, I'm, I'll be writing down every time there is a uh, interest fee or additional charge or whatever. Um, so that's what this is for. And then I'll be using my other book as far as the monthly budget because the way they have it set up. It's mortgage, electricity, gas, water, phone, and TV, and internet. Anything else is really a category. But now I will be spending using this book for daily expenses. I can use that. That's going to be a big help. Daily expenses. And then at the end of the month... And review and then any notes in, in the next month. So I'm looking forward to starting this venture and then making notes of my savings. But I use the Every Dollar Budget app and it's a great tool. So I'm getting organized with my new budget planner so thanks for tuning in and god bless i put a time limit on getting everything taken care of and that's going to be 18 months and then i could still save i could still do holiday stuff i could still do stuff for the kids and so forth and uh, so we'll have to see. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day. This will be my debt tracker video series. And have a great day and have a uh, happy holiday. Bye.